Welcome back YouTube, it's me the cool Losers 2018 and I'm going to continue the top 10 best apps of the week and this is number 374 using the Google Pixel 2. Now for 2018 I'm going to go way back and find the best apps that I've reviewed and bring them back to life even though they might be a little bit older but they're still really good ones so I'll be having some old ones come back. And as usual for my number one app I always do a wallpaper or live wallpaper app and it's called Backdrops. Backdrops has a lot of high quality wallpapers here that you can choose if you tap on that. You can see the how big the file is, it's 32 by 2500, the sizes and everything. So if you want to favorite it, you come back to it later. This is my current background. Let's press set, wallpaper set, go home, and there is a wallpaper set already. It's a really nice wallpaper. This wallpaper app is getting better and better every time. You're really going to like it. Go try it out for yourself. Number two, floating tube. Now having YouTube Red allows you to not have ads and you could also have picture in pictures if I go home. You will see that there's a little floating window there. Now if you click on floating tube, now the thing is it doesn't hold your account. You can just search for whatever it is. Type in Kulusa Tech, my whole entire channel there. I like the theme. It gives you all the information except you can't like or dislike the video here. You're not going to be able to comment, but you're going to be able to see the video in the pop-up forms. You click on that, there's a pop-up. You can see I can go home and there's a pop-up video right then and there. You can just have it play in the background and you turn your screen off. It's not supposed to be able to play music or videos in the background like this, but it's allowing you to do it through this application. So definitely get this app before it gets removed. Number three, Edge Screen S8. The Galaxy devices have Edge features where you bring it out and you will see that there's certain contacts. If you tap on it, you get animation of if you want to call and text, so you get that kind of cool. You could also swipe to the next person, but I'm not going to reveal those information. You can add them really quickly just go into your contacts and just like that but you can also swipe over the page and you see that you got your other apps edge you got your dates you got your music controller you got your monthly planner and then you got a gps that you can change and you can change all the orders of it you can go to the people's edge themes and wallpapers to change the background to look totally different you can either do a swipe version or you can do one where it has a little tab that you tap and it opens up. Number four, quick settings. So when you bring down your notifications, you're going to see that there's different ones in here that you can add. Depending on what operating system you're running, some of them are removed, some of them are extra. But on a Google Pixel, tap on the pencil, you got lots more toggles that you can add. Drag it up in there and rearrange it. Now if you go back into this section, you go to list all. So if you want to add a shortcut number three, so we're going to drag down. We're going to go to the pencil, so we're going to hold on to it and bring it up, and then that's it. So we're going to tap it over, and you will see that application of shortcuts, what application you want it to do. Amazon Music, and you will see the Amazon Music is already on that spot, so if I click onto it, it'll open the application. Battery takes you straight to the battery. You get pretty much how simple it is. There's categories, utility, so you can do even root features in here. Number five, swipe up utility. For this application, if you don't use any of the Google Now features or Google Assistant, you can press long hold and it'll launch a certain different application if you wanted to right now it's launching my camera immediately so that's what i have it as so we'll go back and swipe up choose action there's pro features that doesn't give you everything so you can't do it all launch applications or you can do actions go to shortcuts and we're going to go into the whatsapp camera so if i hold on to it that's the whatsapp camera right then and there number six Touch controls. Touch controls is my favorite app to have when I use YouTube. Click on a video. This is my 2 million video. Can you believe I got 2 million views on there? But once you turn over, you got different controls that you'll be able to do here. Now I'm going to turn down the volume by swiping down just like that. And I can turn up the brightness on my left side. You still got the double fat tap, fap, and then you can rewind. So you still got those gestures. Many of you guys might be saying, why can't you just use the volume control buttons there and then the brightness bring this down? But see, there's just more gestures, more moving from the fingers. We're not going to just bring it up here, left and right, volume up and down. Very simple. Works only in landscape. It doesn't work when you're in portrait. So this app only works in YouTube. Automatic brightness. You can actually have it brighten it up if it's too dark. You have more tap actions that you could enable. But I mainly use it just to turn the volume up and down as quick as possible. I love it. Number seven, unread badge. You will see that I got notification bubbles and little widgets there. So if I tap on it, it'll bring up my social promotions and I click on that, all the comments that I get. And then this is another email and another email. I could have all my separate Gmail accounts and to create one, you just gotta hold and go to your widgets 
and you scroll down to unread badge. You bring it down and then it's going to tell you which email do you want to add. Only want to see what's important. I want to see my spam. Go next. You can select icons or add your own labels and you'll name it like. And there it is. There's the icon and there's 36. Obviously they're different from those because I selected different. It's all in the application in here for customization. You can see the spaces above and you can change it. I've had a lot of people ask me how I got those and that's how I did it. Number eight, APK installer. Now this application is so useful for me and I'm going to have to say this is what you should have. You go to manage apps, you have a lot of apps that you don't use anymore and you don't want to go in and out to uninstall them one by one. You can select them all here and uninstall them or delete them. But this is where I want to say why it is a must have. Let's say this application that I'm reviewing gets removed from the Play Store and therefore I can't get the application anymore. So what you do is create a backup now this backup i'm creating and it'll save on a folder also another best thing about it let's say you did an update and the update crapped out the application and you hated it now you can go back into this last one that you did before you updated so you can revert back and you can also share it so if you click on that you can select there you can share the apk anywhere copy the link you also got some featured application that they recommend number nine blip blip now this application i install on every single phone well maybe not this one but it did replace my old one but the reason why I say I install this certain application onto all my phones is because I want to hear every hour or repeat every minute five minutes ten minutes whatever you want you can choose when a certain beep will go off so if you like to know when every half an hour of the day goes by you can select a half an hour and it'll give you a beep and there's You can also add your very own modified one. So right now, since it's 3 o'clock and I put my phone away and I hear the beep beep, it's going to tell me that it's 4 p.m. without even having to look. That's the beauty of it. I love it. And number 10, Google Wi-Fi. And number 10, Google Wi-Fi. Now, this application is going to be for the people who want to step up their Wi-Fi router game. Now, I do have one right over there where my tip of my finger is. That is my Google Wi-Fi router is powering all my devices on here you're going to see that there's five devices so i got all these devices that are connected right now that are turned on i got other ones that are turned off right now but i can see what devices are taking what when they're using internet it'll tell me what's the megabits i made an unboxing of the google router so if you want to check it out it should be popping up here in the description as well but there's a priority device so if my computer is connected and i want all the priority fastest speeds to always go to my computer i can set it now i do have another account that i'm a manager to and we can go into the family wi-fi if if you go into groundation you can name it this is like if the kids are misbehaving you can see all the devices that are connected to the other google home router and mine is not the same account that these people are in so you can have multiple accounts but groundation if the kids aren't behaving you can ground everybody at once or you can choose type of people that you want to say okay they're not listening or they didn't do the chores you can pause their internet and it will cut them out so they can be playing games watching youtube videos as soon as you press pause it'll pause the internet and they can't get back on it so you can control them if you click on to this you can add an end time so you say it'll be in two hours that you'll allow his internet or until the morning or choose a time you don't even have to be connected to your wi-fi you can be anywhere around the world and still pause them but there you guys have it. these are the top 10 best apps of this week i know it's been a long time since i've been doing them but i am coming back apps are really hard to come by since i've done so many but um games will be next i will bring some iphone apps as well also if you guys want to check out my partnership sponsor which is caseco they'll provide you with lots of cases screen protectors speakers all kinds of accessories for your iphone your android devices as well i personally have and use their products they are also the reason why i was able to make it to ces for two years they provide me with really cool products that i can share to you obviously i like caseco myself that i can actually recommend so if you're interested in checking out case so you already know where to find all that you could also look for a discount percentage off of your purchase if you go through me all that kind of good stuff but as always thank you for your support and i will see you guys next time it's good to be back later